the heart of a contemporary spiritual practice is being totally engaged with our lives. Forests, rivers, polluted cities don't care about your enlightenment. What they care about is your aliveness to present experience, your action in the world, and the effects of your actions. And one of the terms in spiritual practice that is so misleading is this idea of non-attachment. So many times people hear the word non-attachment and they think of kind of dissociation. I'm not going to be attached to how things are. Nothing moves me. And then, I, you know, you walk around like a zombie. And in a way, I came to spiritual practice at a time of really turbulent emotion in my life. And I really thought that practice, and meditation especially, would become a way to kind of, you know, get out of feeling. But actually, things don't really work that way. And non-attachment doesn't mean just not being attached to your bicycle or your apartment or your bank account. Uh, non-attachment means not clinging to fixed ideas, not clinging to the way you think things should be, but actually opening to the way things really are. So I would translate non-attachment as engagement. Non-attachment is a deep intimacy to, to see the way that, that everything leans into everything else, to wake up to the inherent interconnection of all things, but to do it in a way that's non-attached. So not to open up to the interconnectedness of things and say, oh, this is the interconnectedness of things, right there, you've lost it. But how do we become intimate with the way things are underneath language, underneath our concepts of how we think things should be? This is really the heart of non-attachment, is this, this kind of deep engagement. And, and it comes from this term yoga, which is a Sanskrit uh, term, which comes from the root yuj, which means to unite. But taken out of the verbal form, yoga means uh, union. And I like to translate the term yoga as intimacy, because it's not something you do. You don't do intimacy. In fact, intimacy is, is the byproduct of giving up fixed views of the way things are. Uh, you know, fixed and rigid ideas are really the enemy of intimacy. And it's really what shuts down relationship. And because we're living at a time where we don't need any more ideology and philosophy, uh, what we really need is a way to, to, to let go and to drop in, you know, to the truth of how things are economically, emotionally, ecologically, socially. And that includes both what's beautiful and also what's devastating. It means opening up to the fact that this world is stunningly beautiful and also a total catastrophe and how to hold both, how to hold both, how to open up to the joys of being alive and also to the suffering that's inherent in being in a body and being in a body that's aging and being in a world right now that really needs our help. So I think we need to reimagine this idea of non-attachment as a practice of not clinging to fixed ideas so that we can be engaged with the world the world needs us, and our actions make a difference. So how do we rethink spiritual practice, not as trying to transcend, not as being dissociated, not as witnessing our lives, but as being totally immersed in life? Thank you.